you doing? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Vietnam. Oh, wait. We're not in Vietnam, nor is it morning. But it Good is. evening, Story City. It it's is so live, live with, with Steph and Eileen. Dun, dun, dun. We need music. We do. We need the music. Cooper. <laughs> Maybe we can have Cooper play in the background, like little drumming. Or not drumming. That's strumming. <laughs> strumming. I meant to say strumming. I really did. Drumming. This is the sign language for drumming. <laughs> no. It's been a long last few days. That really has Late been. nights. Early We're mornings. There. So, well, you early mornings, not such. Well, yeah. Funny. Well, your early mornings are because they're the end of the late nights. You know, you see a lot of things on the road when you're coming home at 2 to 3 in the morning. I'm asleep then. Because I have to be here early in the morning. <laughs> Looking forward to August. Yes. So, you guys, speaking of that, Shop Hop is almost over. We have a week and a few two days, days, two days left of Shop Hop. So, the, we are seeing a lot of people that are just, they're tired. Yeah. We we got to be the last people's store today. They they were just, they're calling it. They're they calling made it. it to us and calling obviously, it. <laughs> we're done. done. But, you know, if the thing is, when you're done, you're done. Be happy. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do this. Be happy. Enjoy, enjoy the enjoy trip. your time. Yeah. Enjoy your time. Enjoy the process, mm -hmm. not just the it's, end goal. It's the journey. Exactly. That's the word I was it's looking for. It's the journey. The journey. The journey that's important. So you guys, hi Pat. How are you tonight? Aww. What's your color? What's your color? Favorite color, Pat? We'll Ten wait. Second delay. <laughs> We need you to respond faster than what you hear our question. I'm kidding. We need to think what's in our heads first, then answer, and then we'll ask the question, and then the timing will line up just right. Exactly. But we're not known for having anything yeah. lined up yeah. right. So All right. Except for maybe quote. Absolutely. Especially with our Marty Michelle templates. Exactly. Brought to you by Marty Michelle. <laughs> Get your Marty Michelle templates here at our Marty Michelle Club every fourth Saturday of the month. If you so choose. Second. Oh, second Saturday. Oh, fourth Saturday. That's That'd ice, ice dash. dash. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> trying to be funny. Actually, I'm trying to do. It's a good thing that I'm teaching the class because she would show up on the wrong day. I'm trying to do a Will Shatner impression and it's not going very well. Oh. That's what it was. <laughs> I tried. Anyways, you guys, so let's get back on track. Come okay, on. focus. Focus. All right, so we have a lot of announcements and a lot of stuff that's coming up in the next, this weekend and this month. So uh, we wanted to just mention some things to you. The first thing, I guess I'm doing announcements. That's how this is rolling because I just started. You got I'm it. I'm so sorry. It's all so, good. So like okay. I mentioned earlier, iStash, that is our charity club, is meeting this Saturday at 1030 in the morning. So if you guys um, have some things to bring in, that would be awesome. Um, I have lots to tell you about our Freedom Quilt visit. Um, I'll spill a little uh, information tonight, but I don't want to give everything away because I want to encourage you to come to iStash. Um, so you guys... I stash at 10.30 in the morning, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit now. Why not, right? Why not? Why not? It's on my and mind. there's also a video available. There is. So on our Facebook page, obviously, you've been there. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little video of the visit that we did. Um, my husband, Curtis, and I, we went to um, Fonda, Iowa, and we met with Betty Nielsen, and she's just a lovely lady, and um, we got to experience a little bit of, of the history of the Freedom Quilts there. And it was so touching and so moving. And we dropped off, I think, 46 or 47 total quilts. Um, it, it was it was amazing. Mostly contributed by iStash. Mostly contributed by iStash. And, um, yeah, great experience. So if you want to hear more and if you want to know a little something-something, a little surprise that I have for you guys, come to our iStash on Saturday, this Saturday at 1030. So is that enough of a plug for iStash? I think so. I think so. I stash, I stash, I stash. I stash. Oh, and Quilts of Valor blocks. Every year they do a block drive. This year this is the block and we have the patterns. They are free online. You can go to quiltofvalorfoundation.org.com, whatever it might be, probably .org, and they have that on there. So if you go and you make them, bring them here. We will get them to um, our state coordinator, mm -hmm. and they'll be going to quilts to make for our veterans. So 
another worthy cause. Exactly. All kinds of potential out there for... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love it. It's great. Um, so another okay. thing, we are still doing loaves and fishes to the end of the month. We still, still have fat quarters. We still have fat quarters. Yep. Um, I, our box is overflowing. So mama, if you're watching, you need to come pick them up. <laughs> or I can drop it off too. But anyways, you need to come pick it up. It's over. Because we know that if she's going to drop it off, we have no idea when that will happen because she's so busy. So. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we're also hiring still. So we're um, having yep. interviews. Interviews are starting next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. So if you have any desire to work at our wonderful location with us. With us. Or I mean, mostly. Yeah. Mostly me. Maybe Tori. Maybe, maybe Cooper. Maybe Cooper. You just Tori know. Cooper. You know, because we're fun to work with. I mean, if you ever spend ourselves. any amount of time with us in the shop, we crack ourselves up. We're funny. Yeah. You may not think we're funny, but, you know, we <laughs> laugh. <laughs> as long as we're happy, who cares? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yes, we are We are hiring. It's, it's a part-time position. So, um... Hours may vary, but you may not have to have too many Saturdays because Tori is mostly available on Saturdays. So yep. just know that. It's not going to be a abuse your weekend kind of thing. No. But, but we would love to have you here. Yes. We are looking forward to adding another family member. And you can apply either on Facebook or you can come in and we have applications here. Yep. Make it all official. Yep. All right. So... A lot of things are happening this weekend in Story busy, City. Busy, busy, oh busy. my gosh. So you guys, it is so incredibly busy this weekend. Stuff what's happening. Scandinavian day. Day. You see the days. <laughs> one. Now it's one day. <laughs> but we are following it up by carousel days. Carousel days. Which day. is day. Day. <laughs> so together we have days. We have Scandinavian carousel days. That's what we're going to call we it. We have a weekend that's going to be filled with activity. Yes. It is going to be awesome. We had to skip Scandinavian Days last year. Thank you, COVID. Um, and delay it this year because of COVID. But we get a day. Next year, hopefully we'll be back on track. Yeah. So there's we'll no, there's no parade. parade. No parade. No parade this year, but that's okay. Um, but we can still find plenty of things. So if you are loving the outside in the morning time... What a perfect way to celebrate Scandinavian Day than to do their 5K race, which starts at 7.30 in the morning. So Scandi 5K race, 7.30 in the morning. Pre-humidity. Pre-humidity, yep. Worst. Pre, before the worst of the humidity. Right. So you guys, sign up for that. Um, you can go out to the Story City Greater Chamber Connection Website, website and sign up for it, or mm -hmm. you can contact them, call them, and I will give out the number. It is 515-733-4214. That's for the GCC's office. You can um, talk to Shannon and get yourself signed up. Um, so that's for the f uh, 5K. No more than 5K, because who wants to do more than 5K? It's still Not early, people. Check. Nope. So 7.30 and, morning. And they, I believe you can walk it. Oh yeah, you can walk. You it. can you can do a walk or a run, and you know if you're not like crazy in shape, gonna win that thing, you can walk it. Absolutely. Yep. I mean, I think I walked it with Charlie when he was like a yep. short person. Yep. So then after that, they've got um, some craft shows. They'll have a petting zoo. There's bingo. Um, there's the carousel. Obviously, is going to be open. Um, and if you guys have never ridden the Story City Carousel, I highly encourage you to do it. I am ashamed to say I have lived in, in Isla for almost, what, four years now? Mm-hmm. I've never ridden the carousel. I've seen it. She's I've seen going it to. moving. No, I've you ridden it to. now. Oh, you have? You did do when it. Good. When Teresa, my best friend, was here, we went and I took her on the carousel. And it was a lot of fun. So and it guys, moves faster than what you think it does. It does. The so first time you're on. I highly encourage you guys, go check it out. Because it is just fun, you know. It kind of makes you recall your childhood memories and things like that. So and it's just a good ones. time. It's just a and good time. if you're the kind of person who really wants to, you know, test your stomach, they have the tub, <laughs> and you can get in there and you can go as oh, fast as you can. Oh yeah. gosh, the number of times it was like 
I think I've reached yep. my max. You gotta be careful who you get in that thing with. Okay, so we also <laughs> have fun. some other demonstrations that are happening. There's a live music band. There's actually three different bands that are playing and at the band, band show. show. And, and the band then, shell is in the North Park. Yeah. And then they also have museums that are open. So you guys, the different museums here in town, which are really kind of fun to go through, those are going to be all open. They're open from 1 to 4. Yeah. And then yeah. at the very end, there's fireworks. So very exciting. Love fireworks. So, and they're also going so, to have food vendors, too. And the food vendors are all Story City-based yeah. groups. So that we have a chance to, they're trying to... Showcase. Build, showcase what we've got and um, also allow some of those groups that may or may not have had a chance to try and get out and help people in the last year or be able to raise their money or do so whatever. So they've got the fire department so. that's doing something, the EMS that's doing something, City, our Rolling Story City Serve. And they're right next door to us. Yep. Kiwanis Club. They've got St. Petrie Church, PEO, Chapter of Z, um, Riverside Bible Camp, and the Boy Scouts are all all contributing and doing different things. And there's everything from water and popcorn to cookies and kringla, hamburger, brats, and Dairy Kumla, Queen. People, who doesn't like kringla? More and kumla on a stick, pork loin. I mean, okay, I've never had thing. kumla. Oh my I've gosh. Never had kumla. How, no, I thought you had kumla. No, nope, I've never had kumla. She's gonna have kumla. It's not kosher. And hot dogs. It could be. Okay. <laughs> not that it's kosher. I don't. It's potato and flour. But isn't it made bread. in ham stock? Yeah. Well, only if you're gonna. Do anyways, it right. anyways. So you <laughs> can't have it. Lots yeah. of food. Lots of food. And you know how we feel about food. So definitely, if anything, it's worth coming out for the food. Yeah. So. All right. So. Lots of options. And the next. Looks like they're starting it as early as 9 a.m. Yeah. So you can have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Second breakfast, if you are a Lord of the Rings fan, you know what that is. And it goes until 8 p.m. And tea time. Yeah. Okay. So you've got, what, 11 hours of food? Actually, 10. Yeah, 10 p.m. Yep. 10 p.m. Okay. Yep. So. so, all right, guys. And then Carousel. Carousel, National Carousel Day is happening on the 25th. So that is a Sunday. That is our anniversary, Curtis. So maybe we should go take a ride on the carousel. There you go. What do you think about that? I have kumla. No, because that's the day before. Save it. <laughs> no. So now I don't think Kumla the next day is quite as good. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm wrong. Kumla can be eaten anytime. Okay. Any so time. now we also have something coming up. It's called Future Nine activities. Future Activities. Nine Hole Fun Tournament. Friday, August 6th. So if you guys are golfers, this is an awesome little nine hole tournament. And like every other hole is going to be a fun fun, like, uh, cut, cut golf type of a hole. So the first, I think the um, even holes are going to be like the serious ones where you actually have to try to make it in, blah, blah, blah. And then the even ones are going to be the fun ones. So that should be fun. And then after all of that is said and done, they're going to have like an after party. And some of those after party refreshments are going to be provided by the local eateries here in Story City. So very cool. If you guys, again, want to sign up to either have a golf team or you want to sponsor it, contact Shannon at the GCC at 515-733-4214. Same number as before. Yes. And if you want to sponsor it, you need to do that by July 29th. So there are these little sheets to fill out for sponsorship, sponsorship or registration of your team. I think you can actually register for a team on the day because um, that starts at 3.30. But again, go to GCC's website and you'll be able to find out more. And later on, you guys, I'll put all this information out on... I don't know this red. Lisa, yeah, sorry. We have a red purple. Sidetracked. They've been there for a while. <laughs> so anyways, I'll put all this out on our Facebook page so you guys can see it. Then, the very next day, like I said, the next few weeks is very jam You've got lots of activity. Lots of fun, yeah. So And overlapping. Another 5K... And this is a 5K that helps to benefit the Riverside um, Bible, Bible, camp. Bible Camp. And it's called the 5K and Quilt Day. So this is really kind of cool. Um, basically, what they do is obviously they have their 5K exercise. Ooh, great. Sign up for that because all that stuff goes to them. 
but they the have quilts. they sell quilts. <laughs> well, they don't sell quilts. They're auctioning they off auction quilts. quilts. They're auctioning off quilts. So that means that if you're a quilter and you would like to see one of your beautiful quilts that you've made over the last pandemic season, uh, <laughs> go to a good cause. You guys can contact the Riverside Bible um, Camp's main office, and again, I'll be putting this information out later, and get in contact with them about getting that to them. They'll coordinate that with you. If you'd like to sign up for either the 5K or for, find out more information, talk, speak yes. words, they're hard. Um, you can go out to the website, and they actually have a very fantastic website and give a lot of great information on all this stuff. And so. This is the ninth year for this, yeah. guys. So obviously it's been going for a while. We yeah. want to continue. Yeah. So. And I think I've seen or know some of the folks that actually have put some of their quilts out for auction, and they're beautiful. They're high quality. So you guys, if you're going to do this, it is a great way to get a really beautiful quilt that you didn't have to make, and it will display in your home beautifully. So there you go. I think Betty's done that a lot. Betty has. I mm -hmm. think yeah, Barb has too. Yep. Yep. All right. So. Then the last thing for Story City is for our now. for for now is September first. Way ahead. Way ahead. One so month. We want to put it in your head so you guys can come. It will come up again. September first. It's a Wednesday. We are having our progressive dinner now. Again, last year we missed it because of COVID, but this year it is the progressive dinner. Five to seven, downtown Story City. So again, if you want more information, go out to GC GCC's website. I will put that link out there so you guys can do that. And you guys, it is amazing. Um, it is all about tailgate, party time. So what we are going to do is this little duty, duty. Duty? That doesn't duty, sound good. Duty, duty. Hmm, that Steph made pretzels, homemade pretzel bites. And we'll have some dip. And they're really good. Yeah, Eileen told me to get them out of her way. The I other did. Day. I kept eating them. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are terrible. They were so good, but like, you just can't stop at one. Yeah. So that's why it's a progressive dinner. So you get your few, and then you move on. Yep. You go so to the next place. The the last one that we did, which was the first one that we did, there was a margarita stand, and I'm really hoping that somebody does that again. Well, you think about it. What are you going to have a tailgate? There's any number of possibilities beer. for that. You're going to have beer. Beer. A lot of beer will probably be out there. Anyway. Yes. But that's I, I do believe that there are tickets for sale. I don't remember how much they are, but again, GCC's website should have mm, all that information. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think $10, ten dollars keeps 15. running through my brain, but who knows. So. All right. Now, for quilty stuff. We have lots of things going on, too. Holy moly, people. Yeah, you think we're just talking Story City. No, that's what I talk about, overlapping. We've got so many announcements, guys. It's just crazy. Story City. You, okay. Talk about this. This is okay. coming up. So we have got the the next thing. We're, we're, we're going to try to attempt. Tori and I are going to try to do a show without Eileen. It may be crazy. But... We're going to be down in Williamsburg. It's at St. Mary's Hall. Still need to get the address, so I can't yep. tell you that quite yet. But we're going to, it's in a church. We have like our, an entire room to ourselves. And um, we're it's like going a classroom. To, yeah. So if you happen to be down in that area, you want to stop by. There's, I don't know how many are I'm going to be there. Not sure how many um, vendors will be there. But what I've heard, and this is from Denise at Iowa Falls, that there are beautiful quilts that are displayed. So if you guys love to look at quilts, love to look at the workmanship, and just, it's almost like going to a museum and looking at artwork. If you guys love to it's do amazing. that, I highly recommend that you guys come to this. Check it out. Uh, I'm sure, I, I'm guessing there's probably gonna be a raffle of some kind. Um, so this is just a great way to um, just look at new stuff. It's also a fun thing to do, you know, it's. You may or may not have done all Iowa Shop Hop. Maybe you wanted just a chance to get out. Yep. It's, I mean, it's not a horrid drive. No. It's like, what, an, an hour, hour and a half? half? Yeah. It's not too so bad. So it's not, not bad at all. Just make a quick trip down there. So Friday, and check this out. Friday, August 6th, and Saturday, August 7th. Times are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday, and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. So a great weekend outing you guys mm -hmm. i highly encourage you and like i said denise said that there's beautiful quilts that they put up there the guild does a fantastic job and i am looking forward to hearing your feedback on it because i won't be here and the reason why i won't 
is because my sister Amy and her kiddos, who are no longer kiddos because they're adults now, they're still kiddos. are coming to visit, and so I'm super excited to be seeing them. I might remove the new tattoo that we can too. That's still to be determined. <laughs> no more visitors. That's fun. I can end up with the sleeve. No, I won't go that far. <laughs> I won't go that far. The next thing we have coming up, it's another quilt show, and it's a fundraising quilt show for the Franklin General Hospital, and that is August 28th and 29th. Mm -hmm. So we will both be there um, vending. Admission is $10. So that, that's in Hampton. This is in Hampton, Iowa, correct. And they're going to have a um, learner, uh, let's see, what is this? Let's talk about quilts on Saturday by Charlene Ritzmeyer. Ritz, yes, and Valerie, Valerie Bonk. Bonk. So they're going to have um, a presentation. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. That's why there's two of us, guys, because we can't just do it by ourselves. Yeah. So, um, anyways, they're going to have that. There's going to be some make and take booths, um, boutiques for sale. Obviously, us as quilting supply vendors will be there and a raffle as well. So that's something to look forward to at the end of August. Yep. And then, what is this? The end of September, we have the Sac County Quilt Affair. Sac County Quilt Affair. Quilt Show. And that one, we will not be at. But. Iowa Falls. Iowa be. Falls will be there. So that is very awesome. Um, again, it's going to be two days. The 25th and 26th, and I believe that is a Saturday and Sunday. Um, you'll have to double check that. Um, admission for one day is $8. Two day admission is $12. And there will be a lecture by Doris, I cannot pronounce that last name. Dutmeyer. Dutmeyer. So she is an Iowa quilt artist specializing in designs influenced by nature. So I'm assuming I haven't seen her things yet, um, which I should go out there and check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm assuming it's kind of maybe some landscape quilts. And I love Maybe. landscape quilts. I've always wanted to do a landscape quilt. Bucket list. It is on bucket my bucket list. list. Yeah. We have a quilt bucket list and then a life bucket list. It's kind of on my boat. And then yeah. there's always the opportunity. Remember, guys, we're still trying to plan our trip to Australia. So that's for a quilt and a life bucket list. Yes. So that's you can always get your name added to that if you don't. Except for Pat, who's going to run the store for us. She's that's already right. offered. Pat's going to run the store for, like, we've decided we need to go for a whole month. Did really do it right? We may or may not come back. I don't know. We may not come back. So, anyways, that is the quilt shows happening. We also have this little doodad here. There's an estate sale. So, you know, can't go wrong with an estate sale. Quilting and crafting estate sale. And that is also Saturday, August August 7th. That's 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's in Anita United Methodist Church in Anita, Iowa. Can you say that fast? No. <laughs> Anita, Iowa. Anita, but no, say the whole thing. You said it. Anita, Anita United, United Methodist Church. That's what I was wanting her to say. Anita United Methodist Church. <laughs> Anita United Methodist Church. <laughs> and we have these cute little cards if you want to come in and pick them up. If you can't keep track of memories and trying to remember things, you can always come in and pick things up. Yep. So, a lot of stuff is happening. Yeah. We're all opening up after the pandemic and... We're hoping we can just stay that way. Well, yeah. And everybody's trying to cram everything in as much as possible. So... Now... If you happen to be running around somebody who happens to get the, what is it, the Delta variant that's out there or whatever, we still have masks if you want those too. That's true. Just Although, FYI. Yes. They're not necessarily displayed, but they're here. Some of them. Yes. Just so, ask us and we yeah. can take care of you. We can help. So, all right. What else are we talking about tonight? Well, I think we've made it through. Holy moly. That's a lot of stuff. Look at all this, guys. <laughs> and all this. Oh. Very busy. a lot. Very busy. There's a lot going on. Steph? Yes. What is your favorite thing? <laughs> well, we got a couple of new fun things in. And one of them is these needles. Okay, why would they, why would needles be my favorite thing? Because they're I'm trying to. Pretty. Because they're pretty. Because they're pretty and they're chrome. No, not just for that reason. Sorry, I'm not trying to cover no, your face. No, you're fine. Cover my face. Okay, so why are these my favorite? Because these are the best needles to use when you're using Shannon Cuddle fabric. So it helps with the control. It helps make it nice and even and you use your longer stitches. Life is easy. So they are called stretch needles. So that is that will help with that. So just so you know, that's 
We have Apple. them now. We have them now, and they're six dollars for five. She had me so. order those for a specific reason, and y'all will see that specific reason at a later date. When I get my act together. And then I actually have a second favorite thing. I thought you had like three favorite things. I do, actually. That's, this is just the second of three. <laughs> this is a cute little pattern we just got, and they're travel pillowcases. So they're for smaller pillows, so you don't have to. But it's not just a pillowcase. It's, I mean, it's actually a little block on your pillowcase. It's a piece pillowcase. It's a piece pillowcase. So it's really cute. And uh, and it may be a piece of cake, too. It may not But be. there's two different versions in here. That's the yeah. other thing. So you get two different designs. So you don't have to do the same thing. So, and that one is $5. Oh, that's not How bad. often do you get a pattern for $5? Anyway, and then the other thing. <laughs> I have to brag on my nephew. <laughs> He is so creative. I, I gave him a task the other day. I said, we're going to a show. I need to have things looking differently. Come up with a new way to fold fat quarters. And there's a group of them. So here's six. I want you to fold them. He came up with this. Is that not the cutest little thing? They're all connected it's, together. They're all connected together. Like you guys remember those like, paper chains? It's like you did a paper chain out yeah. of the fat quarters. I was just so, I mean, I was just so impressed with what he did. And so, you know, you can see them in different colors and things like that. So it's just, I'm really bad at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I was just really impressed with his folding skills. So this is not necessarily, a, I guess it's a favorite thing because it's a favorite thing my nephew did. Anyway, I was really impressed with him. Cooper, you did a fabulous job. Yes, you did. So That's I've been so broadcasting that and today I made him make a whole bunch more. So <laughs> poor kid. Okay, so then I here's his idea. He goes, Mom... I have an idea. I think it might be crazy, so we're not going to do it. So he tells me what the idea is, and basically he's like going to take every single batik we have and put it in rainbow color, do this with it to make one big long one, and he's like, oh, that's stupid. We won't do it. I'm like, no, do it. Do it. Try it. Try it. I think Why it's going to be cool. And he's like, really? I'm like, heck yeah. Do it. So it's not quarters. You may so come someday, in, yeah, you may come in and it'll be a big old long thing. Either we, if we could figure out how to hang it from the ceiling, that'd be kind of cool. That could be interesting. That might require yeah. a little bit of thought. Yeah. So, but someday, someday, you just never know what you're going to Out of the mouths of babes, or over twenty-four years. <laughs> Twenty. He just turned twenty-four on Sunday. Mom's having a bit hard time trying to accept the fact. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, not as <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> All right, my favorite thing. Yes, what is your favorite thing, Eileen? So, Tell every me. week, y'all see me drinking out of this. And if I have this here, because we put down a, a quilt a that muffles noises because I hit the table, and then you guys can hear it, and it's annoying, and Shakes yada, yada, everything. yada. So, this is not so stable. So, what I like to grab is one of our handy dandy coasters. These are amazing because they are they're stone. They're stone. So when your drink sweats, it absorbs. It absorbs it. And they just look really cool. I love that design. I, I do too. One is awesome. And having it offset like that so you have some white space over here is really cool. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just it's very artistic. We have several that are quilt patterns but I do like this one. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fun and one. And I love that simple blue mm -hmm. and cream or blue and whatever white color that is. It's not really white. I don't know. Anyways, so very beautiful. It's so stone this is, colored. It's stone. <laughs> the color of stone. So, yes, this is my favorite thing. And we actually have these same stone coasters in um, what you call the it? Cor car. No, the car. Oh ones. Oh yes, car coasters. The car coasters. The round ones that fit in the bottom of yeah. the... Yeah. You know cup that holders. The cup holders. The cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> so, Important words not coming. Cup holders. Oh, it's, goodness. it's been a long day. It has been a long it's day. It's been a long day. So you guys, these are amazing. Highly recommend them for your household. And we actually have them on and special. And for your car hold. Who? <laughs> it's yes. by five or four. <laughs> What is it? Five. One is for six dollars, two for ten. Oh, two for ten. Okay. I thought it was more than that, but that's okay. Oh. Excellent. That's my favorite thing. And there we go. So now we've done our favorite. Now 
<laughs> you guys, we didn't have any food last time, but guess what we have this time? We have a new country register! The July-August edition has arrived, Yay, and we are so please. excited. It is filled, 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 filled with some really amazing articles. Some of them are self-care, self-help um, articles, and I... Nice fun quotes. Fun quotes, so we're going to hopefully be pulling out some of those for you guys to uh, listen to in our and lovely voices. The quote that is gonna, that's right above today's recipe is, whatever you decide to do in life, make sure you do what makes you happy. Oh, so good. Is that not the most logical and best quote ever? I just want to think it's happy. happy. Do what makes you happy. So today's food under, I can't see this. Gosh Here, darn it. it. <laughs> okay. Chocolate caramel bars. Chocolate caramel bars that actually, amazingly enough, don't have any caramel in them. It's That's okay. I don't really like caramel. Peanut butter. <laughs> Don't, maybe maybe with all the combination of things, it makes it taste Maybe like it tastes it. like it. I don't know. But, and the other thing is, I was trying to use up some rhubarb at home, so I actually made a rhubarb custard cake, or mm -hmm. rhubarb custard bars, that are not anywhere in anything. It's just, I made them. So If no, you'd like the recipe, let us know, and we'll get you the recipe. Yes. But, anyway, we here are try. our food options. I'm going to let you hold that while I okay. share the food. So... The one with the white topping. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the white topping is the custard bar. The one that has chocolate in it, that's the caramel chocolate. The chocolate one that caramel bar. Of almost looks like apple crisp on the top. Yeah. It's got some crumbles to it. And that's, that's actually the same as the crust. That's chocolate caramel bar. So you've yeah. used the same crust, just different toppings. Yeah. Perfect. So, anyway. Okay, put it there's down so I can try it. <laughs> So the most important one to try is the one from the country, the country register. Group. And you guys, I gotta say, the country register. The more and more I read it, I just love it. Y'all, if you get a chance, please look for them in the quilt shop. It doesn't have to be our quilt shop. Yeah, just but ask grab your, them. Ask whoever is working the quilt shop. Say, hey, do you know the country register? They're free, so mm -hmm. it's amazing. All right, so we're gonna go in for the deep dive here, guys. This mm -hmm. is what it looks like. Nice and crumbly. This looks like some good texture. So we'll see. I like it. Tori came in earlier. Mom, I'm going to take a bite out of one of these bars. But I'm turning around so you can't see what I look like when I eat it. Okay. I have not looked at the, at the recipe. I'm going to guess there's brown sugar, or not brown sugar, but um, peanut butter, combustion mm -hmm. sugar. Um, no confection or sugar. No. Nope. Nope, but that's sweetened. That's the uh, sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Sweetened condensed milk and the peanut butter go together. And it's very much like a peanut butter cup, a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's actually really good because it's got that, the, the oats, flour, brown sugar, um, and salt, baking soda, that kind of stuff. With butter, that's all the crust mm -hmm. and the topping. And then you have the peanut butter sweetened condensed milk layer. And then you add the chocolate chips on top. And then you add the little bit of leftover um, crust to on the, the top. top. Mm -hmm. That's very good, you guys. That's actually really very good. Oh. Yeah. If, if you, I don't think you could have really big bars on this rich. one. It's very rich. Yeah. Very, very rich. So now let's move on to. Steph's mm. rhubarb bar. Rhubarb <laughs> bar. And I have never had this before either. Brand new recipe. So again, very different texture. Very soft. Oops, but it's spilled. That's okay. I'm going to have to do some cleanup on my computer. So We're gonna have to start very, very soft texture. It's got a creamy, so is this a buttermilk frosting, or not buttermilk, but a butter frosting, or? No, the, the frosting cream is cheese? cream cheese, okay. and what else did I do with that? Cool Whip? No, whip cr whipping cream. Okay. Cream cheese That's and right whipping cream. Cool whip texture mm -hmm. from. Yep. And then it's it has a little light. bit of vanilla. Yeah. I would say, I mean, the rhubarb part. It tastes like any other rhubarb cake, mm -hmm. but that frosting, 
It's very light. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually really more refreshing. Mm -hmm. This is more cookie like. This is more of a summer. So yeah. The rhubarb one, I think we definitely need to put the, a link to the recipe. Okay. I'll see what I can hunt down. It's very light, very summery. If mm -hmm. you don't want something that's heavy, it's not too sweet. The texture is very nice. So I don't know how everybody's yeah. rhubarb gardens are going, but. This takes five cups of rhubarb. So chances are most people are done with it by now. Mm. But I still had some, so mm. I was just. Or if it's frozen. Mm. But Very good. Thank you, Steph. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So mm. we want to highlight. How much time mm. do we have left? I want to highlight um, our new stuff. Oh, yeah. Tonight. Other than what I've already chosen right. is my favorite thing. So we're going to move some things out of the way. Let's move our food out of the way. So that way we don't get some of that out of the way. Sure. Do you want to do that first or this first? We'll do this first. All right, guys. So it seems like we're always getting new stuff in the shop. That's Oops. sort of the point. <laughs> Which is a good thing, right? Keeps you guys coming in. Something different. So we've had these in the past. And these are the amazing... Stripology, Mixology 1 and 2. So, and this is our challenge out of this one. Come and get them. We have more in stock. We have more of the rulers in stock. So you guys come and get this if you want to join me on my little challenge. And speaking of that challenge, this is the fat quarter that I have decided to use. That's not a fat quarter. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> layer cake. I have fat quarter in the brain. This is the layer cake that I will be using. And it is so cool, guys. It's really cool. So I'm excited. We have some charm packs of this. I think one charm pack left of this. Maybe two. Maybe two. So, you guys, this is a very fun print. Yeah, two. And we're going to be getting more layer cakes in in the next few weeks. So, you guys have to check that out. And that is going to take our Stripology Squared ruler to do the one that I want to do. Now, the cool thing about this book is on page 8. Also on this book, on page that, 8. Like it's they, very nice that they were... Like they planned it. Yeah. It actually gives you the description of the different rulers and some information on that and how to use it. And, and why then, you need all the sizes and not just the one. Right, because you think, oh, I get the biggest one, and that's awesome. But you actually, you should get multiple sizes because there are reasons for that. And then for the patterns in here, it tells you, up over here, the recommended ruler. So for this one, this pattern that we're going to be doing, you are recommended to buy the Stripology Square. So we have that. Okay. So there's also the Stripology Squared Mini. So cute. And then we got, we just got in this big daddy one. Big daddy it's one. It's not tiny which is the extra large Stripology ruler. And we are out of stock, but we will be getting in more of the regular sized Stripology ruler. So these are amazing things. So not only do they have the Stripology Mixology books, but she also has, and this is GE Designs by Gudrun Erla. And if you guys, if you, obviously you do Facebook, I encourage you to join their Facebook page, the Stripology Facebook page, or GE Designs Facebook page. So here is another fantastic book with many patterns in it that uses Stripology rulers. And then another GE Designs pattern book. This is just so cool. It's called Strip Your Stash, Dynamic Quilts Made from Strips. So this is teaching you how to go into your stash and to create strips and to make these beautiful quilts. So highly recommend you guys come in and check these out. Well worth it. Gosh, look at that. Who wouldn't want to do that like on a Saturday morning? Look at her. In the kitchen with her coffee or cocoa all bundled up underneath that beautiful quilt. So. Sorry, I'm just finally getting to read some of these quotes that That's, I haven't had access to. But that's this not the right show. But I had it on the right <laughs> show. I really did. So we have more uh. new fabric that just came in. Hey you guys, this stuff is really cool. It is from In the Beginning Fabrics. It's called Marble Essence by Jason Yenter. So if anybody is a fan of Jason Yenter, this is some of his goodies. And look how cool that is. There's some blues in there, some kind of lavenders with these reds. 
and it really toes. pops it's out. It's really like, cool. It's very, very cool. And then we have this turquoise aqua, same print, but it is just so beautiful. It's just, I don't know. I don't want to say psychedelic, but that one's definitely psychedelic. This one is more psychedelic. This yeah. one, this is just, it's like the Bargello look. It's called Marble Essence, that one. The Jason Anter. It's just in the beginning fabric. He's got some good designs. So if you guys have been in here and you have seen our dinosaur quilt that we have, that is another in the beginning uh, fabrics, fabric line. Mm -hmm. So they've got some amazing fabrics. Um, got a lot of companies out there with amazing fabrics. And I feel very privileged that we get to bring that to people. It's nice to have be able to have that variety mm -hmm. and to be able to choose what we can get here. Yeah. So I think that is everything that we have for today. Day, unless you can think of something. Oh, yep. There's something that I want to show you guys. Just a real quick one. Just a real quick. So I don't know if he's on, but Mr. Stan Heyer, he is a carpenter by trade, a quilter by choice. <laughs> uh, you're probably a carpenter by choice too. But he has a company called Heyer Woodworking for all your carpentry needs. And he came by and he gave us these cute little, cute little flashlights that works so well, and Stan is awesome. Him and his wife, they are just wonderful people, and he does all kinds of carpentry things, kitchen cabinet installations, custom cabinets, remodeling, whatever you might need for your carpentry needs, contact Stan Heyer. How was that? That was like a good commercial, wasn't that it? That was really good. I, I do that. couldn't have said it better. Finally got to the Stan, I'll take payment, and that, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but he paid us some flashlights. That's true. You can take his <laughs> flashlights. These are really cool, you guys, these little flashlights. So come and ask us about Stan, and um, we'll, we'll get you connected. We'll get you connected if you, if you need some work done. But he's, he's, he's a busy he's, guy. He's, he's pretty busy. He may not want more. <laughs> we may be promoting him without his permission. Sorry, Stan. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh. So I think we've managed to hit everything this week, I unless think. I've forgotten something. And we're at 7.13. We've, we, so 7.15 is kind of what we shoot for to end things. So mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good. Well, guys, I'm sorry I didn't get to read most of your comments. We'll have to read those later. So I apologize for not... Oh, wait. I got it. I, I just read something, though. I want to okay. share this. Marty Michelle is coming to Iowa Quilters Guild in July 2022 at Winter Set. So yes. you guys... That Next is something year. to go to, and we and will. And she's doing presentations. We may just abandon the shop and go down there. We maybe we'll like create a van and we'll do Ooh. a group trip down there because you guys, if you've never met Marty or heard her speak, she's fabulous. She really is. She's one of our favorite people. Yes. So in the quilting world. So yes. you guys, I highly encourage you um, to go to that. Yeah, maybe we could have van site. We'll practice that before we go to Australia. <laughs> That'll sign up for van trip. That'll be, can we coordinate things? Yeah, we'll learn the basics first. See if people we start calling people across the world. That's true, that's true. All right, guys, I think we are going to sign off. And I've made this nice and big for me to read, so we'll see how we do. So thanks for hanging out with the best quilt shop owners in Story City. We'll see you next week. Same so time, same so place. Bye, guys. Bye.